and welcome back to Fluttering Butterflies. My name is Michelle and I'm here today to share with you a review of The Dead House by Don Kurtigic. The Dead House is a young adult horror novel and oh my god guys, it was so very very good. Full disclosure, I did receive my copy from the author. The author has her own booktube channel, Writeaholic DK. I will leave a link down below. She is super, super lovely. Um, and she signed, she signed my book and sent all sorts of cool things. Um, and she sent like a cool bookmark and some vinyl stickers and other things to go along with this book. Um, it was in exchange for an honest review. However, that does not impact my thoughts on this book. So, to be honest, the first um, impressions that I had for this book when I first received it is that it is much longer than I expected it to be. Uh, this book is roughly 440 pages long and um, I did think, oh my god, it's 440 pages long. I'm, I'm quite nervous about chunky books anyway, so I did wonder if that was going to be um, a factor in putting this book off to read. The other thing that also grabbed me right from the start is just how pretty this book is. Not just the cover, which is um, is quite pretty anyway, and I love the tagline here. Carly gets the day, Caitlin has the night. But it's, it's the little touches, like these, um, all of these pages have um, these black marks on them uh, to make this book feel like it had actually been in a fire and just those little touches uh, made that made this book so much more appealing to me because it is it's a very pretty book I love that sort of Indigo Orion put a lot of uh, care and effort into making this book look so very good. So obviously I didn't let the size of this book put me off at all. Actually it's a really really um, easy book to get into and to get into the flow of things. And once I started reading this book, it didn't take me very long to finish it at all, mostly because of the great characters, the mystery, the emotion, and kind of the suspense. So the premise of this book is 25 years ago, a fire occurred at this uh, high school, three people died, one person is missing, uh, and we don't really know and we don't really know what happened. It's all kind of shrouded in a big mystery until until this book comes along and somebody uh, has researched quite a lot about this fire, about everybody involved, and they've compiled lots of different um, diary entries, newspaper articles, video transcripts, uh, police interviews, and all sorts put it together in an attempt to solve um, the Johnson incident. At the beginning of the story, there are two main characters, Carly and Caitlin. I found it incredibly interesting that Carly and Caitlin are the main characters of this story because Carly is a teenage girl uh, who is attending this high school um, and she's been involved in, uh, in some traumatic experience in which uh, she's going to see a therapist. She was uh, she was in a, a mental health facility for some time. She is said to have dissociative identity disorder or what was known as multiple personality disorder and because of the trauma that she has faced in the past she has created a new identity that she calls Caitlin and Caitlin is an alter. And it's all incredibly, incredibly fascinating. I was absolutely gripped by the idea of um, of a character with dissociative identity disorder. I was fascinated, and, and I did want to know more. more and I wanted, to, I just wanted to know more, more about how these two came to be what had happened to them in the past. So sort of at the same time is this mystery of what happened to the high school, there was also this other mystery about what had happened to Carly and Caitlin before the story, um, before this story started. There was, there was just, honestly, there was just so much that I wanted to know more about. So Carly and Caitlin kind of uh, communicate to each other via 
post-it notes and a diary. So there there are quite a lot, um, quite a lot of diary entries, especially from Caitlin, who who takes on the bulk of the narrative. Um, there are other people involved. Carly's best friend Nada is uh, a, a driving force behind the story. Um, she is this person who is involved in this fictional Scottish voodoo uh, in which she delves into different types of magic and um, other things in order to help them out. She is under the impression that Carly is not suffering from DID. She is in fact uh, inhabiting a body with two souls. Wow, this is such a hard book to review. I think one of the most compelling things about The Dead House is the fact that Caitlin is uh, the character with the most narrative in the story. It's mostly her diary entries and throughout a lot of her thoughts um, about what's going on in her and Carly's life and um, some of the creepy things that start happening. Um, she can hear this other voice. Strange things are happening in this high school. Um, Throw out all of these strange things, you get this like overwhelming sense of loneliness and uh, from Caitlin's point of view. She's been told her entire life that she is an altar, she is the product of trauma, she's unwanted, she she needs to let go and let Carly lead her own life. Um, she's kind of holding Carly back. Um, and she's told all of these these horrible things about um about herself and you know I think that once you hear something for so long it becomes something that you believe in and I think Carly it re uh, and I think Caitlin really struggles with the idea of being the altar and, and knowing um, that she shouldn't be there. She thinks of herself as the dark half of her and Carly. This is the perspective that Caitlin has. Um, I really cheered every time that Caitlin finds somebody that she can connect to. Um, she does go out wandering quite a bit during the night time. Um, and, and even though it, it, it is incredibly lonely and the, just her loneliness is very evident in the pages of this book. There, there are some bright spots to these nighttime wanderings and one of them is her friendship with somebody that she calls the Viking. Another is this friendship that she forms with a new boy at school called Ari. But it is a horror book and horrible scary things do happen and I was entirely creeped out by Oh, by so much of this book, so much of it, and I was thinking, oh, <laughs> what is going to happen? Um, how is this going to end happily? You know, I loved a lot of the characters, especially Caitlin herself um, and Carly. I wanted the what was I wanted the best for them, and it <laughs> and all I can say is that ending, that ending shocked and surprised me by how dark things went. The, the last sort of quarter of the book and it was already darker than I felt comfortable with at some, at some points um, and I just knew that it was gonna go even further and it did. Well done to Dawn Kurtikich for going as far as she did. It was creepy, it was unsettling, this book was incredibly emotional. I mean there was so much to love about this book. I, I really, really highly recommend it. The only sort of things that I would say um, didn't work so well for me at some points is sometimes because a lot of these events happened 25 years ago with some of the diary entry, because a lot of these events happened 25 years ago, uh, sometimes when some of the flashbacks happened or when Caitlin remembers previous things, then I, I found myself being a little bit confused about the time line uh, and when things jumped back and forth. A lot of the story is told with diary entries. We got this great sense of character from both 
uh, Caitlin and Carly and their relationship together. Sometimes some of the other characters uh, like Scott and Brett, um, I didn't feel as though I connected with them as fully as I did with Carly and Caitlin, but I did very much love um, Ari and the Viking and especially Nada. I really, really liked Nada as a character. I loved that she was Carly's best friend, but once she got more involved with everything going on, she felt like Caitlin's friend as well. And I just loved the fact that Caitlin was able to find this group of people to help her out. Because I think throughout she really did suffer with this idea that um, that nobody was going to care that much about her. And then um, events led up to the fact that um, that is not quite the case. Hugely, hugely interesting! What a fascinating um, story about uh, dissociative identity disorder and demonic possession, Scottish voodoo, um, uh, great characters and relationships, but especially between Carly, Caitlin and Nada, Ari the Viking, um, and just, just unravelling all of the the mysteries and things about this fire, about this untold trauma between Carly and Caitlin. Paradise, the darkness, the loneliness. This was such, a, such a good book. And you know what? I'm super, super excited to read more young adult horror books and more definitely by Don Kurtikic in the future. Thank you so much for watching this very rambling uh, review and I will see you again next time.